Hello, I'm Joss Peach. And I'm Poppy Peach. And we are two first class idiots with an unhealthy obsession with cabbage. And this is the Cabbage Chronicles. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a cabbage? Is it a cabbage? What's that coming over the hill? Oh, you just got cabbage, motherfucker! Hello! Hello! Welcome to another episode of the Cabbage Chronicles. And this episode is going to be focusing on something that, in fact, wasn't really a prank in the end, and I didn't get a point for it, but Mm. we thought it was quite funny. And it also pretty well will show you our specific brand of humour. Show you what a daft pair of arseholes we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's worth sharing, basically. So it sort of was something that I did, inspired by... A prank that I'd done earlier, which was very successful and I did get a point for. Yes, you need to explain what that is. Yeah, I'm going to explain what that is, Um, which was I got in touch with, I think it was just like some gardening website, Mm. and there's this thing called a cabbage collar. Um, So, yeah, it's these collars that you get for your cabbages, which (laughs) stop the slugs eating them if you're growing cabbages. And they had some out of stock on the website. So via my dad's email, Mm. I emailed them sort of just saying, oh, you know, I've noticed this is out of stock. Could you could you pop me an email when they're like back in stock sort of thing? Um, So he gets an email. I don't know. It was like a week later or something going, oh, we've got them back in stock or it was something like that. Or it might have even been, oh, we've got these other types that work the same that are in stock. It was something like that. It was some random email from someone on with the subject being cabbage collars. (laughs) Yeah. And I I was completely baffled by this. Yeah. And uh, it was a very well won point. Yeah. So, inspired by my success with this, I did some Googling Mm -hmm. and I found the wonderful website that is Cabbage Inc. Cabbage Inc. Cabbage Inc. And (laughs) (laughs) it's it's spelt like I-N-C, it's not ink made out of cabbage. It's um, <laughs> no one's gonna think it's ink made out of. <laughs> we cabbage. might have autistic listeners. Um, <laughs> doing my bit for the community. Yeah. Okay. Fair. fair. <laughs> um, so you can contact them on the page. It has a load of different people who work for the company and and their contact details. Basically, I got in touch with them and went full weird. Yes. You I were... really, I really did. And then I realised they were never, ever going to respond to it. And bear in mind, this is again from my personal email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sending a message. Yeah, also to them. with your, it's got your website at the bottom. Yeah. It is like your work email. Yeah. Um, so they could see. Which by then I had already changed the profile picture of to a cabbage, so. True. It's, you know, it's your work email, but it's also your personal email. Um, so you got in touch with yeah. Cabbage Inc. posing as me. Yeah. And I think you should tell the listener slash listeners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, exactly what you wrote to Cabbage Inc. Uh, yeah. So here's the first one. Um, Hi there. I don't really understand if I'm emailing the right person, but your profile picture was my favourite. So I thought I'd give you a try. I currently live in England, but would be more than happy to travel to work in one of your truly glorious cabbage farms. You wouldn't believe my excitement when I found this website. I've had an obsession with cabbages since I was two and three quarters years old, brackets and procs, and I have been looking for a cabbage job ever since. Please reply ASAP. I know I won't be able to think of anything else until I hear back. Mm. Yours sincerely, Jocelyn. Yes. Um, yeah, always Jocelyn. Um <laughs> So yeah, that was that was what I sent and went, they're never gonna reply. And so I was like, Oh, I'm quite pleased with that though. I think it's quite funny. So I showed <laughs> it to you, didn't I? Yes, and, you did. And then we were like, Oh, this is quite fun, I think we should keep going. Yes, and if you look at the Cabbage Inc. website, you'll yeah. see that it's got a profile pic yeah. of all of the employees there. And yeah. it was just too tempting oh, okay. to leave. So we kind of departed from pranking each other and yeah. decided to get on board with composing some rather daft emails yeah. 
to the the good people of Cabbage Inc. Yeah. So here's the next one to the same person who was Melissa McFerron. Mm-hmm. Hi there. I was wondering if you had any thoughts on my recent email. As I expected, I really haven't been able to think of anything else, no. and my dreams have been inundated with cabbages. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, a hot, it's sad. Tugs at the old yeah. cabbagey heartstrings, isn't yeah. it? I was thinking about my recent request for jobs when I realised. I'm more than happy to work for free. Oh, hallelujah. (laughs) This is an opportunity, surely, there in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I will work as a volunteer just so I can experience your cabbage farms, which I'm sure are nothing short of sublime. Who needs money anyway? Yeah. Please let me know if you have any thoughts. I'm sure you won't be able to resist this new offer. (laughs) I anticipate your reply with much excitement. (laughs) Yours sincerely, Jocelyn. Oh, and I did yeah. deliberately put your phone number at the bottom of all of them as well. Well, that would have been mental if I'd have got a phone call from America. <laughs> no. You said you'd do voluntary work in our <laughs> yeah. farms. <laughs> <laughs> and your name's Jocelyn? Well, whoever you are, pack your best dungarees because you start first thing Monday morning. <laughs> yeah. Cabbage. So, yeah, sadly, she didn't reply to that one either, did she? <laughs> But no. that didn't stop us. No, 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 no. There were a lot of people on that website, so we thought we'd get in touch with Randy Markham, who on his job description just said president, which will explain a few things in the emails. Hi there. Are you the actual president? <laughs> anyway, I think you look very cool. I wrote to your colleague, Melissa McFerron, to ask if you had any available cabbage jobs. My offer is thus. Mm. I will move to America Mm -hmm. to work for free at your cabbage farms. Mm. I was sure she wouldn't be able to turn me down. However, I haven't heard anything back from her. Mm. Do you think it's possible my emails just ended up in her spam folder? Anyway, if I don't hear back within the week, I'll just go ahead and buy the plane tickets. Can't wait to meet you. Weirdo alert. Yours sincerely. Jocelyn. Yay! It's getting exciting <laughs> It's now. getting exciting. You've gone, you've gone all the way to the top. Oh yeah, his next one is wonderful. Hey Randy! <laughs> I've been thinking about my travels to the USA and have realised that flights are actually really expensive. Mm. I once flew to France for £15, which I would definitely be able to afford with my pocket money. <laughs> 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 with my pocket, pocket. money. <laughs> it's been a while since I've read this. <laughs> okay. However, most of the flights to America are over £1,000. Oh, God, who knew? <laughs> who knew? As you're the president, I was wondering if this is something you would be able to change. Mm. It seems quite extortionate to me. Yeah, rip off. My point is, until the flights become cheaper, I shall not make it to your fair land. Mm. This fact has been plaguing my mind for days, <laughs> so please let me know if you can think of any other modes of transport that could successfully deposit me on your doorstep. Oh. Brackets, not literally, of course. Brackets, although that would be quite nice. I've already contacted a few (laughs) hot air balloon companies, so we'll let you know if I get any replies. Yeah. Onwards and upwards, Your Majesty! (laughs) Jocelyn! (laughs) Onwards and upwards, Your Majesty. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Cabbage! Okay. Here's one that you composed. I think you should read this one. Okay, let's have a look. Claim full responsibility. Oh. Oh, yeah. So this was after um, we realised that uh, Melissa and Randy were were really not taking the bait. No, they weren't, were they? No. I wonder if it ended up in their spam folder. Oh, I suspect they read it and, <laughs> and kind of just printed it out and showed it to everyone and went, oh my God. Oh, I really hope they did. We get the odd nutter at the cabbage farm, but this prick is like something else. Hot air balloons. So, yes, Melissa and Randy were were not interested thus far. So, um, I think we just had a look at someone else that we like the look of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Called Gary Zehe. Or yeah. Zehe, yeah. or something. I think we thought that was yeah. quite a good name. So, yeah. um, so I wrote this to him, Gary. Hi there. What's happening, dude? 
I've been in touch with Melissa and Randy, brackets, customer relations and president, respectively, brackets. However, neither have replied to me. So I'm thinking that maybe you are the man who can make my dreams come true. Can you, Gary? Can you do that for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm getting ahead of myself because I've had too much baked potato and I'm fizzing like a pint of old milk. And you'd better believe it. <laughs> As I told Melissa and Randy, I want to work for you guys. I want it so bad, it hurts. I even Fuck offered to out. work for free, brackets. But I'm having second thoughts about that, brackets. Still, that stuff can be ironed out when I meet all y'all. <laughs> so long as I have enough dollar to fund my travels to your fair land, I'll be happy. I'm in England, by the way. I'm assuming that once I'm there, I'll have all the cabbage I can eat, so I won't need any food money, smiley face. Anywho. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> this is such a terrible line. Anywho, <laughs> I see that you're in charge of grower relations. <laughs> would you like to grow a relationship with me? Well, would you? Yours sincerely, Jocelyn. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Cabbage. So surprisingly, there was no response to that wonderfully written email. Hmm. Um, so a bit, bit weird. Yeah, weird that. So I, of course, contacted another one. Um, who did you get in touch with? Logan Markham. Ah. Who I, I think could be related to Randy Markham. Oh, the plot thickens. The plot thickens like a pint of old milk. Yeah. Yes, it does. Here's what he received. Hi, Logan. I have emailed Melissa McFerron, brackets, customer relations, Randy Markham, president, Gary Zeher, brackets, grow relations, and finally, you! <laughs> I'm now at a total loose end. All my wonderful cabbage plans have, well, not gone to plan. Mm. My plan started when I was two and three quarters years old, as I have already told Melissa, mm. who sadly is yet to reply. Mm. All I wanted at that ripe young age was a life filled with the joys of cabbages. Oh. My parents, however, didn't support this kind of behaviour, oh. so I could but dream God. of such a magical life. What terrible, terrible childhood trauma. You can imagine my delight when I found your incredible sight, brackets, celebrating over 35 years with food safety priority one. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, eh? Oh. Talk about catchy. Anyway, I had agreed with Melissa and Randy that I would fly to America, then work I at... I had agreed with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had. Then work at Cabbage Inc. for free. What a life I had waiting for me. Mm. Little did I realise, A, flights to America are really expensive. B. It is not sustainable to eat nothing but cabbage, so I will need a small amount of money for food, mm. thus making my offer for voluntary work void. I'm looking into other cheaper modes of transport. Hot air balloon companies haven't replied yet, but don't worry, Logan, I'm on it! Mm. However, I'm not sure I will be able to live with the guilt from A. Proposing an inaccurate offer to two of your colleagues, mm. and B. Asking your fair people to pay me! I'm so sorry, Logan. Mm. This has turned into an extremely long email. Live a long and happy life, Jocelyn. P.S. Can you tell your colleagues to check their spam folders as I haven't heard back from anyone? Thanks. And then, like, loads of kisses. Oh, that's nice. Well, you'd think that that, that would win him round. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming he got back in touch pretty sharpish after oh, all that. Oh, yeah, if only. Mm. We have a text as well that we sent to Gary that should be shared with you. Yes, so... Um, it was it was sad that Logan uh, didn't reply. Really. Well, it was sad that none of them did, especially yeah. you know that Gary rejected your offer to grow a relationship with him. Yeah, well, I mean, I suppose there's still time. There's still there is, there, there there is, is still, still the future. Yeah, I mean, maybe he maybe he secretly like was in love with you, but was too scared by his own feelings. 
Uh, it's possible. So what you think to grow a relationship with me could have been just a bit overwhelming. Yeah, it could have stirred up all sorts of things that mm. he never thought he could feel. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's hope All that sorts is. of things like, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? I must fly to England right now. Yeah, it could have been a bit bit much, couldn't it? <laughs> it Turned could've... his whole world upside down. Yeah. We gave him one more crack of the whip, didn't we? we? Did. Because they did have the mobile phone numbers yeah. of employees yeah. on the website as well. So I thought, do you know, I'm just going to give it one more go with Gary. So I texted him this. Gary! <laughs> oh, How's it hanging? <laughs> just following up on my email from August... When did you send this? Uh, oh, October. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've been busy. So have I! Lots of exclamation marks. <laughs> I've been sculpting a seven foot high cabbage out of found objects. <laughs> brackets. Mainly plastic coat hangers and old Veruca socks. Brackets. <laughs> Which has taken up much of my energy. Anywho! Oh, God. <laughs> just wanted to follow up and see if we can get this show on the road. You're a cabbage lover. I'm a cabbage lover. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yours earnestly, Jocelyn. But he did read that, didn't he? We do know that he read oh, that. Oh, we, we've got the two blue ticks. we got the two blue ticks. So, you know... I think we can safely assume that all four of them yeah. have read all of this drivel <laughs> and just gone, what the yeah. fuck is this? Imagine if they're listening to this. I think the chances are very, very high oh. because they are so into cabbage. Yeah, they love it so much. That it, they, as soon as they hear that there's a podcast called The Cabbage Chronicles, they're oh. going to be there like a fly on shit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if you're listening to this, please do reply to those emails. They've been waiting for a very long time. And we do need to know about whether, you know... Is the deal on or off? Absolutely. Because, uh, yeah, we're still open, aren't we? (laughs) 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 Yeah, I'll just ship you off to America. (laughs) Get and work on a cabbage farm for no money. Well, there you go. That is yeah, the tale is, of Cabbage Inc. Oh, it is great. I just, I really want them to reply. I think maybe we should start emailing them again. <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> yeah. You think we just need to wear them down? <laughs> yeah. And in fact, anyone that's listening to this, if you fancy trying your hand, we'll put the website in the description. Yeah. If you make sure to sign off as Jocelyn. Yeah. Every time. But don't create a Jocelyn email address. So just have whatever random name you've got yeah. with Jocelyn at the bottom. It'll be wonderful. Yeah. If anyone is, in fact, listening to this. Yes. Uh, and it's uh, more than just for our own entertainment. Um, I would be amazed if any of them could be bothered to actually spam some innocent cabbage farm in America. But you never know. You never know. How there are other fools are. like us. Yeah. Yeah, we like to think we're not alone in this crazy, crazy world. Yeah, there must be someone. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, I think that's probably wraps it up for this episode. I think it does. Would you like to grow a relationship with us? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye.